showers and thunderstorms here today in Cheyenne, but tomorrow it looks like a better chance for showers right here in the capital city. So um, we're not quite done with the um, uh, rain mm -hmm. just quite yet, but it's kind of a nice break because we have been well above Definitely. average over the last few days. Definitely. Well, what's going on with the remnants of Hurricane Irene right well, now? Hurricane Irene is now a tropical storm and caused a lot of headache for a lot of people. Um, and actually, we have um, uh, Ryan Shepard went up to the northeast to get these photos of us. He was... Um, uh, up in the northeast. Scott took these photos of the remnants of Hurricane Irene as it moved through uh, Connecticut, causing quite a bit of um, uh, damage for everybody, some flooding and, um, uh, and things overall, quite a bit of a mess for everybody. So um, uh, a lot of damage up across the northeast. Wasn't as, you know, wasn't fun for, for anybody up there. And it's always a troubling thing when you see people losing their, no. their property and, and damage to their, their livelihood. Oh. Definitely not, definitely not. We should also mention um, Ryan is a storm chaser, mm -hmm. and so and he also takes photographs, so those were some of those photographs. And he was in Connecticut, I believe, so yeah. Connecticut, mm-hmm. Well, the, the storm damage was extensive, and officials say it could have been far worse. The storm is weakening as it wake, makes its way to Canada, but as you saw in those photos, it left a long path of destruction. Uh, uh, this sailboat is now... Dino reports from Long Island, New York. There is damage up and down the East Coast. Millions are without power and at least 20 people have been killed. The tropical storm is now pushing through New England with 60 mile an hour winds. Irene slammed into New York early Sunday. Get out of here. The storm wasn't as strong as predicted, but it dumped a lot of water. In the upstate New York town of Wyndham, this empty school bus got taken for a ride. Many Americans are still at serious risk of power outages and flooding which could get worse in the coming days as rivers swell past their banks. So I want people to understand that this is not over. A handful of streets in Lower Manhattan are washed out and in the coastal areas the roads are filled with seawater. Thousands of homeowners are trying to get the floodwaters out. I have never seen anything like it. This one did hard. This is what's left of a sand wall built in Long Beach to protect the city from the storm surge. It stretched about 100 yards and was approximately 13 feet tall but Irene's powerful waves washed most of it away. Irene made landfall in North Carolina with 100 mile an hour winds. The hurricane also spawned tornadoes that ripped through homes and buildings. Thousands of flights were canceled and major airports across the Northeast remain shut down and may not reopen until Monday. Looks like I'm gonna be driving home. It could take weeks to clean up Irene's mess. Duarte Geraldino for CBS News, Long Beach, Long Island.